What's up, OGs? Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. You guys can probably tell I got myself two new, brand new beaker bongs. And for all you guys who've been following my channel, you guys know beaker bongs are my absolute favorite like types of bongs to smoke out of. You got all the different types of shapes and different types of bongs, and when it comes down to it, beaker bongs are my absolute favorite. So you guys can see we got the Zaw beaker, and then we got the Grav Labs beaker. I've been smoking out of these for probably almost a week now since I got them, and they're absolutely amazing. Head Shop Headquarters hooked it up. They definitely fucking hooked it up. You guys can see this is some amazing glass. You guys have, haven't even seen me smoke out of it. But uh, anyways, they gave me a discount code, the raw OG 420 for all you guys who are interested. If you guys want to get something, you can use that code, and I think it's 20% off. But yeah, um, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the function of the two bongs before I go ahead and pack them and smoke them it's just a beaker bong so it's not going to be like anything super special but it's still a super nice quality piece of glass a uh, zob is actually super dope the first time i ever saw a zob piece of glass was from envy closet med grower he has like a nice zob straight tube so i thought i'd pick out zob because it's a cool brand but anyways let me uh, show you guys the function so this one is like a real big chugger um when you tilt it like this, I think it gets the best uh, function like this. As of doing it like this, because you guys can see the down stem comes all the way in the back, so I think it gets like the best amount of water percolation or whatever you want to call it, like at this level right here. So yeah. And then you guys can see that this bowl is actually like super thick, but then on the inside it's pretty small. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. That's like the only thing I really don't like about um, the bong. I wouldn't even say it's the bong because it's the bowl. But the bowl that came with it just has like a super small bowl. Like you can only take like small snaps and you got to be careful when you're ripping it because you can pull your greens through. And now we're moving over to the Grav Lab. So this thing is super fucking sick. For all you guys who watched my Dank Geek glass unboxing, I like smoked that or I unboxed and smoked out of a Grav Lab straight tube. Same exact brand, but um, this is a beaker. And you guys can see, you might think the water is green, but it's actually not. It just has a green accent on the bottom. And then you got this clip here, which I really like, which, which is going to allow you to, well, not allow you to, but it's going to stop you from pulling the down stem when you're like, taking your hit so a lot of you guys have probably maybe even seen me do this on my channel or from experience with your when you're smoking so you're you'll be smoking and then when you go to pull the bull the down stem like might like because the air the air suction or whatever might like pull the down stem with it and you'll get a dry hit so this clip will make sure that the down stem stays there um and the same thing with this uh bong as i said about this one i like to tilt it like this as you normally do with all beaker bongs because it the down stem is positioned in the very back and it's just a super nice function. And uh, this little ice catcher spacer thing is really dope. Um, you guys will see what it does when the smoke reaches it. You guys may already know if you've uh, seen, but I'm not even gonna say, it's just super cool. Oh, and one thing I wanna say before I load these bulls up and smoke is this down stem. These are my favorite types of down stems. You guys may have seen me uh, say this in my other video with the, uh, Grav Labs straight to, but Grav Labs makes the dopest uh, down stems where they're like closed off on the end, and I, I believe Medicali does as well. And I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of other like bong companies that do it, but I really fucking like the down stems that are closed off because if you take a snap and your flower, your ash gets through, it's not gonna like come up in the water. Like maybe a little bit will, but for the most part, the it'll be kept in within the down stem, so it's gonna make sure your pieces don't get as dirty, you know. So the ash and fucking flour doesn't come and stick up onto the glass but we need to load up some bulls we're four minutes in and we haven't even smoked i've been just talking about these amazing pieces but uh let's go ahead and load these up we're smoking on some purple gorilla this stuff is absolutely fire i don't even think the gopro is able to show like how dank this is um i'm definitely going to be doing a strainer view of this stuff the purple glue is so fire um Watch out for that if you guys are interested. I know a lot of you guys like the strain reviews, but let's just break some of this up. This stuff is uh, super fire. 
Also, shout out to Baker You Maker for dropping the uh, violent shit too just this last Friday. It's pretty much all I've been listening to since then. Super dope tape. You guys should check him out. Um, follow me on SoundCloud and you guys can find him through there or you can just find him through the song names in this uh, in the description for this video. Smell that comes off this super grapey and strong. Like this is some real fucking perp. Purple glue. Cross between Gorilla Glue and Granddaddy Purple. Load up this bowl. And yeah, like I said with this bowl, you really can't load too much in there. And you got to be careful when you're uh, taking your rip because it's really easy to pull your flour through and just waste your weed. I noticed that when I first hit it. But uh, let's take this rip, guys. Shout out to... Uh, Twisted B Hemplick. Let's hit this zob, guys. Let me like pack this a little more. There. Cheers. So you guys could see, I kind of pulled through a little bit of greens. It's mostly all black ash, but that's the one thing I don't like about this bowl. I'll probably end up getting like another one to put on that that has like a glass green. <coughs> Other than that, you guys can see this thing milks up super tight. A little bit of smoke left in there, but this Zob is absolutely amazing. When you milk it up, it just stacks up perfectly. It's nice and thick. The function of it's perfect. Nothing really bad I can say about this Zob besides the bowl is just kind of annoying. But that's, that's about it. So let's go ahead and try out the uh, <coughs> the Grav Labs. Let's load this one up. <coughs> Grav Labs does make some dope glass. I really like their uh, like the shapes of their bongs and just the way they the way they make them pretty much like I don't really know how else to say it but like you guys could should see my fingers I don't know if the camera can pick it up but when I'm breaking this up my fingers just are covered in trichomes like this is some of the frostiest bud I've ever had <laughs> which sounds crazy because like I do get a lot of fire but like in a while like this bud is just the fucking trichome production on this stuff is crazy. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a strain review on this. I can't wait. I'm going to get out my phone, get all up close on it, HD, do the money shot. It's just, it's going to be such, uh, such good footage. Watch out for that one. Don't sleep on it. When it comes out, obviously. Can't sleep on it when it hasn't come out. But, you guys can see that purple glue bowl. About to rip the Grav Labs for the first time. Well, not my first time. First time you guys are seeing me rip it, but cheers. Once again, shout out to Head Shop Headquarters for hooking it up. Definitely two amazing bongs. These are probably two of my new daily driver pieces. I wouldn't even say probably they are. Like, I pretty much ditched my roar ever since I got these two because they're so much fucking better. But cheers. Almost didn't use my hemp wick. <laughs> Getting you guys all worked up, probably. kind of harsh <coughs> that one got to me <coughs> got the tears coming in 
so you guys can definitely tell I was able to take a much fatter rib because this bowl is bigger but that's just such a little thing like obviously I'd be able to rip this thing fat if I had a bigger bowl on it which is what I'm gonna get <coughs> But if I had to compare the overall two bongs, I'd honestly have to say I probably like the Zob more. And I'll tell you guys why. So, this is all this all comes down to preference as well. As well. So, I personally like they're both beakers, but you guys can tell they're both like slightly different shape. Like this one has a smaller beaker base and it's a little taller. This one has a fatter beaker base and it's a little shorter. I personally like the fatter beaker base a little more. I really like it. Uh, the Zob glass is a little bit thicker than the Grab Labs. They're both nice and thick in quality, but I think the Zob is a little bit thicker. <coughs> and that's pretty much what does it for me. Um, once I get a new bowl, I mean, then that's definitely it's definitely gonna uh, be my number one. But then if I were to talk about the Grav Labs, what I do like about the Grav Labs more than this one. Um, is I like the down stem more. I like how the down stem has the closed end, um, as I said earlier. <coughs> I like how this one has a low profile down stem. You guys see how right here, if I could get this out safely, right where it meets right here, it has this extra space. With the Gla Grav Labs one, let me show you guys. It's a low profile stem. When I put it in, it literally ends right there, so there's no extra space, and I like that personally. Let me put this clip back on. <coughs> so there's no extra space. Um, but everyone has their own preferences. Um, if I were to just come down to it, I would say I just like this one because the shape of it a little more, and I can put a better bowl on it to just make it fit my preference. But definitely shout out to. Head shop headquarters for hooking it up. These are two of my uh, daily driver bonks now for flour. Uh, you guys know I fucking love to smoke flowers. Taking big fat flower rips is my thing. It's the way I do it. And beaker bongs are uh, my favorite. So this has definitely worked out. Um, like I said, I got the code the raw OG420. Get you 20% off, I believe. Um, if you guys want to check them out, they got some nice glass. They really do. And I wouldn't lie, you guys, like, they actually do have some really nice glass. You get what you pay for. It's a little more expensive than, like, well, it is more expensive than, like, China glass, than, which a lot of people do get. Like, there's, fucking China glass is really starting to get popular now. This is more expensive, but then it is better glass. You know what I mean? You're getting what you pay for. But, this is some good-ass glass. I'm gonna take one more rip out of the Zob. That fucking Grab Labs, uh... Rip really fucking got to me. I was like coughing with that shit half in my lungs, but Let's take this rip and who knows I might take another rip after this. We'll see Cheers <sighs> Lots of fucking rambling this one. I'm high as shit purple blue strong Almost forgot to use my hemp wick again Ya boy It's tripping can't really blow fat clouds with this thing when I use this bowl. I can't wait until I get like a fucking bowl with a glass screen. I can just pack this thing and milk the fuck out of it and blow clouds. Just wait, you guys. You will see. And also, I wanted to say, I kind of wanted to say this at the beginning of the video, but I forgot, so I'm going to say it now. The 50k video is still coming out. I'm not holding off on it. It just, it's coming, guys. Just wait. I'm not tripping. Or, I meant to say, I'm not lagging, I meant to say, you guys are tripping. I'm just lagging a little, if I said that right. But, um, we'll smoke a last little bowl out of the, uh, Grav Labs before I get out of here. Why not? Take two rips out of each for the video. Okay, I ash this.
This purple glue, guys. Holy shit. It's amazing. Got a nice fat snap there. Whatever you want to call it. But, uh, yeah. Cheers. <laughs> third fucking time, guys. I literally put it to my mouth for the third time, almost forgetting my hemp wick, and then remembering. Cheers. Alright guys, <coughs> that's it for this video, this was a bit of a longer one, I kind of really went into depth explaining the bunks, telling you guys exactly what I like about them and what I don't like about them, but uh, I'm going to end the video here, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys enjoyed it, maybe go check out some of the other ones, OG out, peace.